Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, today our video will be short and will be regarding the Muslim's answer. If you see with me here, this is Mr. Abrams, who always posts in my YouTube channel, supposedly to answer me. He said to me about my previous video, Stupid CP runs to Hadith. Talking nonsense. I mean, how more clear statement we need from any Muslim to tell us that when we read what Muhammad say, it make no sense. Because he is saying clearly here, what is nonsense is what the Hadith. And what the Hadith is, is what Muhammad said. And he is a Muslim defending Islam, he is saying to us that his prophet is a stupid. Yes, he is using the word here supposed to stupid in front of my name, but what is the problem with what I said? It is the hadith. So he don't have the courage enough to say, well, the stop is stupid is the one who did say the hadith, not the one who is exposing it. And this is what we want exactly from the Muslim. This is the first step, or maybe uh, maybe he is in the middle of the way to leave Islam. He is resisting to see the truth, but he did say the truth already. Muhammad, when he speak, he don't make a speech. He do do poo poo. And Mr. Abram, he just said that, as you see in the front of you. And I agree with him. It makes no sense. He's a prophet. is so stupid, so foolish. Is so dumb, is so crazy, and it is so much in control of the nonsense, which means he is the king of nonsense. I will give you an example. This is here Muhammad talking, and when Muhammad talk, as we said, he don't talk, he make poo-poo. He said in this hadith that when a woman, uh, her husband, he asked her to come, to sleep with him and she don't respond Allah angels are going to spend the day cursing her I mean who is the stupid here I hope the Muslims they can post a comment because this is obviously very stupid if a woman she don't sleep with her husband Allah will be cursing her why if the man don't sleep with his wife, Allah will curse him. Never said Muhammad such a thing. This man, he made a religion fit with his own. He is not making it fit with the man. All what he care is himself. He is the God who he want women to be subdued to his private part. He don't really care for much for the Muslims as much he care first for himself, for he is a man too. And he want the women, all his women, not to give any excuse so they will not have sex. And imagine how silly, how stupid this statement is. A woman, maybe she's tired, maybe she don't feel like it. You know, a sexual thing is just, uh, you know, it's not just like I'm hungry, I need to eat. It's a must. It, it needs... Um, kind of suitable time, perfect time, where both they want it. Muhammad, he don't care for both. The word both that does not exist in his dictionary. What exists is me as a man, and now I need it. And you, as a woman, you are a sex toy, and you do it. So to scare the women in order to obey their husbands, especially when it's come to sex. He have to come with something very stupid and very weird. Imagine there is billions of a human being. We are almost eight billions. And imagine between the Muslims, the Muslims, they say they are 1.4 billion. And uh, next week they will say 1.6. Actually, already they said that. I heard the King of Jordan. And two weeks from now, they will say they are two billions. It's like rabbits. 
all those numbers are false anyway, but imagine for the sake of argument, 10% of the women, of the Muslim women, they are not obeying the order of their husband to come to bed and take off their panties. 10% of the Muslims, you know, we are talking about the women, let us say if 10% of the 140, 1.4, 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, let us say the 140 million is the percentage of 10%, and then 50% is the women, if not more. That will make it uh, more than 70 million. 70 million women, the angels of Allah, you know, they will be cursing them all night. How they curse them? Allah curse you, Allah curse you, Allah curse you, Allah curse you, Allah curse you. All of this involve a penis of a man and a vagina of a woman. What kind of a silly God, stupid God, stupid angels will do such a behave? All of this because she refused to take off her panty? You will not find Muhammad saying that God will curse you if you don't cook or did not clean the house or you did not, uh, you know, do what women usually at that time do. He insists that the curse will come when it's come to sex. Another sign of stupidity of your prophet, which you yourself agreed that he must be stupid, keep making no sense when he talk. As an example, this hadith, Muhammad, uh, speaking about a man who came to visit him, a blind man. And this blind man, it says here, I was with the Messenger of Allah, along with the Maymuna, etc. So Aisha, uh, uh, Ummu Salam speaking, the wives of Muhammad, that a guy, his name Ibn Umm Maktoum, and there is a verse that came in the Quran about him, this guy, actually three verses, I think, at least, uh, who was a blind, come to visit him. So the man is a blind man coming to visit Muhammad. And Muhammad, when he heard that he is coming in the door, he said something very stupid, only stupid people will say. He said, the Prophet of Allah told us, hide ourselves to hide ourselves from him, i.e. observe hijab, okay, to wear hijab. We said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, he is blind and is unable to see us. Those women, they are smart, not like the stupid Muhammad, nor does he know us. So he blind, he cannot see us, he never recognize us, and we will not, he will not know even who we are he cannot see us he replied are you also unable to see him what the stupid mad person if you ask any muslim is hijab mean a muslim woman she cannot see by her eyes a strange man they will say no hijab is a woman wearing certain kind of clothes not exposing certain part of her body muhammad he said the women she have 10 private parts and one of them, her voice, and one of them, her, you know, and the rest, like all of them, hands and legs and etc. and feet. But this man, they will not talk. They will not. He's asking to, to them to wear clothes. But the man, he cannot see them. And Muslim women, they are allowed to see men. So he is a blind, and now Muhammad get busted. So they say to him, okay, well, he is a blind. He cannot see us and he cannot recognize us. So what the point of the hijab? And here the stupid Muhammad, he gave an answer showing us that he have a PhD in stupidity. He's saying, he is a blind, are you blind too? But if you wear the hijab, still you can see him. <laughs> Since when if we wear the hijab, if anyone put this, let us say, you, a man or woman, try it. Put, cover your head, and that will not make you see him. What does that mean? Stupid. This is a garbage. And this is who is your prophet, who yourself said he must be stupid, saying nonsense. 
Now, I did not go live in this podcast just because I'm trying and testing this uh, broadcast to see if the internet here is good. So I want to play it and see after I finish. If it's good enough, maybe next time I will go live and you guys, you can be and join us in the chat. Please leave your comment and don't forget to speak about the nonsense of the stupidity of Allah and his prophet Muhammad. Thank you very much and stay tuned with the coming broadcast. If the internet is good, I mean, we will see how this one come, if the voice coming good, if the picture running, if I uh, fine, then maybe the coming broadcast is going to be live and you join me in the chat. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. Thank you.